Hello to all my love and light beings. Welcome back to my station. For those of you who are new, my name is Sean Ivan D, aka my Alaskan Queen, and this is Green. If you'd like to see how I created this look today, please stay tuned. I actually used the Jeffree Star Aliens palette. I had a lot of fun creating it, so I hope you guys enjoy. You gotta be kidding. That's BS. They're not magnetic. That really sucks. Glad I got that on camera. So anyway, before we get started, I'm thinking we're going to go in with these greens. Probably use a little gray to darken up around the corner. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, let's just go ahead and set it with Titan. I already have my foundation uh, sitting powder, bronzer, and uh, MAC painterly pot on my lid. Let's go in with abduction. We're going to put that on the very top. It's not showing up. Let's go ahead and go in with Flying Saucer. Hopefully these mats will stick together. It is buildable. I really do like that. There is a lot of fallout in the pan. Let's go ahead and go back in with the abduction. then back into flying saucer. Now I really want to pack in that color. So let's use a packing brush and go back into abduction. See if we can really pack it on. Let's take this angled brush and let's just go into Ghost OG just to kind of do another transition before we put the crease in there. There's a little bit of fallout. Go back in with the abduction. Take another angled brush and let's go right into black hole. Just darken up that crease. Brush 
go back into the flying saucer. Use a little bit of this makeup remover. Just go clean up the lid. And use a little bit of this NYX. brush and we're actually going to spray it a little bit. Let's use this Nick matte finish. Go into this alien. We'll go back into this black hole. Let's do the inner corner. Actually, let's try this Pluto. See how that looks up here. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to try to clean this up. Go ahead and use this Clinique mascara, it's almost out. And let's use this LA Girl in this shade Limelight. Okay, for the brows, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this H&M. This is a liquid eyeshadow in the shade Wood Nymph. Use the wet and wild to see how that looks.
It might be a little too dark. I'm going to take a little bit of this Fenty Beauty. Take a little bit more of the Supreme Frost. All right, so that's my look. Thank you all so much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. I enjoy reading each and every single one of your comments, and I really appreciate your support, so thank you so very much. I did hit my 250 subscribers, so please stay tuned for that video. It should be coming up shortly. I do have one quick haul and an unboxing to do, so we'll see you there.